Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Atenas and this is Mode Bespoke. For today's tutorial, we are talking about blanket borders. So we're gonna work on four different borders for any blanket that you want to make. Last week, I taught you how to make this hearts a blanket. And this week, we're gonna, co we're gonna cover four different types of borders you can use for any blanket of your choosing. They're really easy to make, so let's get started. our mini blanket we're going to be working with. I normally like to start my borders on the second to last stitch. You can start wherever you prefer. You don't have to start here. This is just where I prefer to start my crocheting. Now for any blanket, I would recommend that when you use, uh, when you make your border, you use the same hook that you used for the blanket itself because Otherwise, you'll have to adjust for sizing. So if you use a wider hook or a narrower hook, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. Um, and that requires a little bit more practice with crochet. So if you're a beginner, just use your same hook. Now to get started, we're gonna insert our hook into the stitch you chose. Any stitch along the border is fine. So just pick a stitch, insert your hook, and now get the yarn you're gonna use for your border. I'm gonna use this blue one, so I'm just gonna loop it around my hook and I'm gonna leave a nice long tail of yarn, which we'll weave in later. Now pull the blue loop through your blanket. And now we're going to chain one, and we're gonna chain using both threads of yarn. So wrap the yarn around your hook and chain one. Now we're just gonna drop this little tail end of yarn. And for this first border, we're gonna work a series of single crochets. So it is the simplest border you can use. And I typically use this border, I probably about like, 80% of my blankets because it's really nice, it's really simple, and it looks great. So beginning in this corner stitch, you're going to crochet four single crochets into that same corner stitch. So if you hold your yarn just over the work that you're working on, you'll be able to hide the tail end. So insert your hook into the stitch and yarn over. Now pull your hook out of the stitch. You're going to have two loops on your hook. So then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. There you go. So that's our first single crochet. We need three more in the corner. So insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull your hook out. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. All right, that's two. And we move the little tail end of yarn here. We're going to make a third one and then a fourth one. And there we go. There's the first row of the corner. And now all blankets are different. So your blanket might not look the same as mine. So if you notice here on these top stitches, they're really close together. So all of these stitches are nice and neat. And the ones here along the edge are not. So here on along the side, they're wider because they're all double crochets. So they're not as neat as the top ones. Depending on the stitch that you used for your blanket, you will have to adjust the number of stitches you crochet along like the edges of the blanket. So for this one, see I've got these big spaces. So in this big space, I'm just gonna crochet one single crochet. There we go. If this space would have been bigger, I would have done two. Uh, but then I have this little stitch right here. So in that chain space, I'm just going to make another single crochet. And then we have this side right over here, which is also a bigger stitch. But if you notice, these stitches are really close together. So I can make a single crochet in each one of them, and they're going to be evenly spaced. The goal when you're making this first row of single crochets, which is what I normally use in all of my blankets, my first uh, round will be in single crochets, just so that I can work with the spacing a little better. I try to place all of my stitches close together and space them out as evenly as possible. So in these next few stitches, they're a little bit different because I used a different stitch here. So I'm gonna do two single crochets in the one big stitch. And then in this tiny one, see it's kind of small and the other part of it is a little bit lower. So I'm just gonna work 
another single crochet into that big stitch. So see, we've got these two right here, and then I'm going to skip this space because see it's a little bit lower than the other stitches, so I'm just going to skip it, and I'm going to go into the next stitch, see and that one was kind of small too. So I'm going to go into here, and then I'm just going to crochet another single crochet, then single crochet, and then another single crochet. So really it just depends on your blanket. The goal is just to place your stitches as close together as possible for this first round. In subsequent rounds it gets a lot easier because since you've already done all the work this round, all the other ones will be really easy because you'll have really marked out stitches that you can use. So I'll work a couple more here. If you have, see I'll hold this out a bit, if you make too many stitches along the edge, it's going to start to get wavy. If your work starts to get wavy, you're going to have to undo the work and make sure that you remove some of the stitches because you added too many. Now, the opposite problem can occur. So if you don't make enough stitches because, you know, the spacing was too wide or anything, it's going to pull your work in. So it's going to scrunch it up. That means you don't have enough stitches. So you're going to have to remove all of your stitches and add a few more stitches wherever you find the space. So I'll keep working on this last bit until I get to the next corner and then I'll see you guys again in a minute. Alright, I've reached corner number two and this is what it looks like. Yours might look a little different depending on whatever stitch you used for the blanket you've made. But just like we did in the first corner, I'm going to crochet four single crochets into that same stitch. So here's one, two, three, and four. And now the corner's done. Now I'm just going to crochet a single crochet in every one of the next stitches until I reach the next corner. Now you're going to notice that two sides of your blanket are always going to be easier because you'll be able to see the stitches. So here you can see the stitch, and here you can see the stitch, and there we go. So I've worked all the way at, to the end, and we've made it all the way around. I'm working my last two single crochets, and we're going to close the round. You're going to do this every time you get around. So this little bottom one doesn't count. So here's our chain one that we did at the beginning. You're going to look for your very first stitch, which is this one. So find your very first single crochet, which is this one right here. The stitch right above it is where you're going to insert your hook. So insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull your hook out, and then we're going to slip stitch. So you're going to pull the first loop in through the second loop. And there we go. That's a slip stitch. That's how you're going to close every round. So now, working a single crochet into the next stitch, I'm going to chain one, and then we're going to go to the next available stitch, single crochet, and now we're at the corner. So in the corner stitch on this round, you're going to make three double or single crochets. I don't know why I'm saying double. You're going to make three single crochets into the corner stitch. So there's one, two, and three. So there's our corner. And now I'm just going to work a couple more single crochets here. So we're going to alternate when you're working a single crochet border. So here, I just worked a few more stitches so that I can show you round number three. So once we've gone all the way around again, we've slip stitched, now we're going to crochet two stitches into the two corner stitches. So in this round we need four single crochets. So in the first of the two corner stitches we make two single crochets, and in the second stitch we make two single crochets. So in alternating your rows and doing three stitches and then four stitches, three stitches, it helps increase your corner slowly so that it makes a nice even corner without it bunching up or, or getting wavy or anything. So you're going to do this every time you do a single crochet border. So you do four in the first round, three in the next, then four, three, four. So to show you a little bit better here, I'm going to grab this other corner. So in round number two, you're going to pick the corner most stitch. You're going to make three single crochets. In the next round, you're going to pick the two corner ones. You're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch 
and two single crochets in the next stitch. And that will leave you with really nice little corners. So let me undo all of this and I'm going to teach you a second stitch you can use. So let me get all set up. So for this next stitch, we're going to be using a half double crochet. And I'm not going to remove all of these single crochets because I would have made another round of single crochets anyway. So I'm just going to leave this. So we're going to start with a chain one. So let me move all of this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. So we're going to chain one and we're ready to start. So for the half double crochet, you need to wrap your yarn around your hook. So yarn over and then insert your hook into the stitch and then yarn over and pull your hook out. So you'll be left with three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So there we go. Now this stitch is a really thick stitch, so it's not as small as a single crochet. So for the corners, you're only going to do three. So instead of doing four, three, four, three, no, you're going to work just three half double crochets in every round. Otherwise, you'll have way too many stitches and it'll get really, really bulky and wavy. So in the corner stitch, we're going to make three half double crochets. So yarn over, and then I'm going to insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, and close out my stitch. So we're going to do two more, because we need a total of three. And if you didn't quite get how to make a half double crochet, don't worry, I'll show you again here in just a moment. So here's the corner. So now, to do this a little more slowly again, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull your hook out of the stitch, you'll have three loops on your hook, and then you just yarn over and pull through all three. And that is a half double crochet. So I'll work a few more of these. See, I'm working this one slowly. Go yarn over and we pull through three. So I'll work a few more of these stitches and I'll just make a few rows so that you can see what this stitch will look like if you make if you use this for a border. Before I leave you though, just remember that when you work your way completely around to the other side, remember to skip this little bottom stitch and work your first, or I guess your slip stitch, into the first stitch of a row. So work a slip stitch, chain one, and then you can continue working around. So after a few rows, this is what your border would look like. So as you can see, it's got these nice little vertical lines going through. So there's this one and then the one on top. Here's the back. Now these little lines are repeated every two rows. So you'll have another one up here at the top. So you have two rows and then a line and then two rows and then another line. So our next stitch, you're going to start with a chain one. And this is going to be similar to the half double crochet we just did. So we're going to need to chain one and we're going to go into the next stitch. So for this stitch you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull your hook out. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop only. So we'll pull through one. You'll have two loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the two remaining loops. So the corner, because this stitch is um, it's not as thick as a half double crochet, we're going to work the four stitches in the corner, then three, and then four. So for this round, we're going to need to make three, uh, this is the herringbone stitch, so three herringbone stitches in the corner. So if you know this by any other name, let me know, but I know this stitch is a herringbone stitch. So I'm going to finish this one, I'm going to yarn over, pull through two loops, and then we'll do this again slowly. So you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, you're going to yarn over and pull through one loop, and then yarn over and pull through, through the two remaining loops on your hook. So I'll do one more here in the corner insert hook, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So it's almost like an extended single crochet. So it's right in between the half double crochet and double crochet if you want to look at it that way. So I'll keep working a few more stitches and then I'll show you what this stitch looks like. Just remember that the corners you're going to work these as four, three, four, and so forth. So here is how this stitch will look after you've worked a couple of rows. And this stitch is great because whenever you need to make a double crochet, but you don't want it to be so thick, you can use the herringbone stitch and it's a lot thinner than a double crochet, but it's still as tall almost as a double crochet. So it makes really nice narrow work. It's just really light and it works fantastic for borders and for lightweight blankets as well. If you want to make a blanket with a really easy stitch, I recommend you use this one. Now for our final stitch, we're going to work a chain one and then go into the next stitch. But This one is a little bit different. So it's going to be a half double crochet, but instead of going through both loops on the stitch, you're going to work through the back loop only. So see there are two loops on the stitch. You're just going to work through this back loop. So let me get all set up. All right, we chain one and then we start with our half double crochet. So yarn over and then insert your hook into the back loop. So you can insert your hook this way or you can do what I do and I prefer to use the hook and I just kind of grab the loop and then push my, my hook through. Then you yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook and yarn over, pull through all three. So this is just a half double crochet that you work in the back loop. So we're gonna do the three in the corner. This one is as thick as a half double crochet because it is a half double crochet. So the corners, you're gonna work three half double crochets in every round. So don't do four, three, four, no, just work three half double crochets in every stitch, uh, in every corner, sorry, so that you don't have a really bulky corner. So here, just like I made this one, we're going to go into the next one. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook, insert my hook through the back loop, and then I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that's one. And we're going to make our second half double crochet, that's two, and then three. And we'll do this in every corner in every round. So I'll move on to the next stitch and working in the back loop only. I'm going to insert my hook and then just yarn over and pull through the three loops on my hook. So I'll work a few more stitches and then I'll make a few rows so that you can see what this stitch is going to look like if you were to use it for a border. there you have it. So this is what the half double crochet back loop only looks like. So here's one side and the other and it's just a really quick and easy stitch that you can use on any blanket. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments section below. Go check out the blog if you haven't checked it out already. I post free patterns up on there. You can also purchase PDF copies and online copies of any of the patterns that I have on the blog. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Thursday. Follow me on Instagram to get a sneak peek at all of the projects we're going to be working on here on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video, and I'll see you all again next Thursday.